In this module, we will learn about exponents and parts. Sometimes it is very difficult to read, understand, compare large numbers. So to make all these easier, we use the concept of exponents. So what do you mean by exponents? The exponents of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. Now, let us understand this concept with the help of one example. 8 raised to the power 2. What is the meaning of this? This means that 2 says to use 8 twice in a multiplication. Means 8 square means 8 multiply 8 equal to 64. This process of using exponents is raising to the power where exponent is the power. Now 10,000. We can write 10,000 in exponential form as 10 raised to the power 4. How to read this? 10 raised to the power 4 or 4th power of 10. Now the next number is 243. In exponential form we can write 243 as 3 raised to the power 5. First of all we have to take LCM of this number. After taking LCM we can rewrite this as 3 raised to the power 5. 128. 128 means 2 raised to the power 7. Or 243 we can say that 5th power of 3. Now, in all these we have noticed that this 10, this 3, this 2, all these 3 are the basis and 4, 5, 7 are the exponents of these numbers. Now the next concept that we will study in this chapter is standard form. What do you mean by standard form? A number is said to be in scientific form or standard form if it is written as a multiply 10 raised to the power n. What is this a? This a is the number which lies between 1 and 10 and where n is an integer. Now, 5985, this is a simple number. How to write this number in exponential form? If there is a no decimal in the number, we can assume numbers on the right side of this. Now shift this number to three places. As we have shifted this decimal to the three places, so we can rewrite as 5.985 multiply 10 raised to the power 3. So this is the scientific form or the standard form of 5985. We cannot express 5985 like this because in standard form we want decimal sign after one digit, right? Now consider this example. Now if you see this example, in this example my decimal point is here. But if I have to write uh, this as a standard form, I have to shift this decimal to this side. How many places I have shifted? Three places, so it will become... 5.9853 multiplied 10 raised to the power 3. Now look at this number. This is a very large number. It is very difficult to read this. But once we change it into standard form, it is very easy for us to read this. Now again there is a no decimal sign. That means decimal sign is somewhere here. Now shift this decimal sign to from this side to this. How many places we have shifted? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. So 3.43 multiplied 10 raised to the power 6. Now again see this example. Again there is a no decimal sign. Count decimals from this side to this. So it will become 7.004 multiplied 10 raised to the power 10. The most important thing that you should know in this is that if there is a no decimal point shown, we assume it to the right end. Now, look at this example. In this example, we have decimal sign on the left side. And once we are going to shift from left to right, our exponent will be negative. So 5.985 multiply 10 raised to the power minus 1 because we have shifted only one place. So in this module, we learnt about exponent, parts and standard form.